Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the Acer Travelmate P4 Spin TMP414RN53. To see the internals of this small transformer, you have to undo 10 Torx head screws. Pop the areas behind the hinges with a lever tool. Fully pry the back with a thin plastic tool and do the same for the other three sides. You can also remove the stylus, but it's not necessary. The battery isn't secured to the chassis with screws, since there is a dedicated socket for it on the inside of the bottom panel that fixes the unit in place. The battery of our laptop is the default 56 watt hour variant. For a longer autonomous life, you can get the bigger 65 watt hour model. To remove it, unplug the connector from the motherboard by pulling it towards the battery and lift the battery away from the chassis. The capacity is enough for around 10 hours of video playback. Our test was conducted with the battery saver preset activated in the Windows Power and Battery menu and the normal mode applied in the Acer Quick Access app. There is a Mylar film over the RAM slots and you can peel it. According to Acer, the two SODIMs can handle up to 64 gigabytes of DDR4, 3,200 megahertz RAM in dual channel mode. However, since the CPU can support up to 96 gigabytes, this laptop likely wouldn't have issues running a larger amount of memory than the official manufacturer's specified limit. The Wi-Fi 6E card is placed below the fan, and the W1 slot for optional LTE connectivity is on the left. For storage, you can rely on just one M.2 slot compatible with 2280 Gen 4 SSDs. The pre-installed NVMe drive is covered with a heat shield. The thermal system has a decently sized fan, two heat pipes, one top-mounted heat sink, and a heat spreader.